In this video, we are going to discuss three types of wind damage to composition roof shingles that are commonly hidden from view and subsequently overlooked during damage inspections. In this first segment, we will illustrate how wind can blow a shingle upwards, causing it to pull through the nail heads that are fastening it to the roof deck. You can see here how the shingle covers the area around the nail head. This is a close-up of the area around the nail head that is about to be damaged. Here we are simulating wind pulling the shingle up and through the nail head. Looking at the shingle from the back, it is easy to see the large hole that was made when the nail head passed through the shingle. But from the top view of the shingle, the hole is almost invisible, even with the camera just a few inches away. This is before the shingle was damaged. This is afterwards. Note how difficult it is to see the damage. It would be easy to assume that the roofer had forgotten to put a nail here. Now that the shingle above the damaged area has laid back down and covered the hole, there is no visual evidence that the shingle has been damaged. Now we are going to illustrate how shingle nails can be pulled loose by wind. The density and therefore holding power of the plywood or OSB roof decking can vary greatly from one part of the same sheet to another. This can be due to knot holes, nails driven between or very close to the edges of the sheets of decking or even driven into or near nail holes from prior roof installations. All of these can make the shingle nails more susceptible to being loosened or pulled out when a windstorm blows a shingle upwards. In this case, the nail was driven into the shingle about a half an inch from a prior nail hole. Let's see what happens. Here you can see how the nail has come loose. Many insurance adjusters like to argue that the nails coming loose is from expansion and contraction due to the heat and the cold that the roof is subjected to. But they will use that argument for just about anything that is wrong with the building. At the end of the day, the question is, but for the wind, would the nail have backed out? If the answer is no, then the proximate cause is wind and not the myriad of other causes excluded under the policy that a claims adjuster might throw at you. As with the other types of hidden damage, loose nails in shingles are difficult to locate because they are hidden by the shingle above. In this last of three segments, we are going to illustrate hidden tears in shingles. We have already shown you how nails can tear through the nail head, but many times the shingle will instead tear underneath the nail head. As with the other types of hidden damage, the tear in the shingle is completely hidden by the shingle above it. It is also very important to note that even if you lift the shingle above it, you may not see the tear torn shingles often fall back into place so perfectly that even with a high-definition camera just a few inches away, you cannot see the tear. A damage inspector would need to attempt to lift up the potentially damaged shingle to make the tear visible. The only way that a damage inspector can rule out the presence of these three types of damage would be to literally bend over, reach down, and attempt to lift each and every shingle on the roof. The act of bending over thousands of times 
well, that would hurt anyone's back. Then couple that with damage to your fingers from touching the coarse granules and the intense heat for what would likely be a two-hour inspection, and it may come as no surprise that the adjuster from your insurance company may not have inspected every shingle on your roof for potential damage. This is just one more reason it is important that consumers have someone working for them that is willing to search for all of the potential damages to their roof. In closing, I am not saying that a damage inspector has to go over every shingle on the roof to do a proper inspection. It is very possible that a damage inspector may find sufficient wind damage to warrant replacement of a roof after just a few minutes. However, if a damage inspector comes down off of the roof after just a few minutes and tells you that you do not have any wind damage or that the damage is minimal, then it is very possible that he missed damage because as you have seen in this video, unless you physically handle a shingle, you cannot know for certain that it is not damaged. And it takes a lot of time and effort to examine every shingle on the roof.